Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you another video of Git tutorial that is Git add. So what basically Git add command does it, it basically add our files to this staging area. So let's say you have created a new file or you have edited existing one. So then how you can push it to your Git. So like before that you need to tell your Git that these are the files basically edited or uh, added so you need to run this command to add these files to the index of this staging area so in documentation you can see all these options for git add so there is uh, mostly you have seen there is git add dot is used so dot is basically for all the files you need to include and you can also specify a particular file in git add command so all these options are available you can use it so in my previous video, I have shown you git init that how you can initialize our git repository. So I'll be continuing with that. So if you want to see git init command, then you can go and watch that video. So for git add, let me create one file, let's say index.php. So now let me write some HTML code in there. So write HTML, give, give heading, let's say edit tutorial, then write body write h1 let's say git add tutorial now save it and in your terminal write git add dot so basically now it added to index now let run another command that is git status so git status basically give you status of your repository so here you can see that uh, changes to be committed so here it's added index.php to the index of the staging area that index.php is a new change that needs to be committed so with dot you can add all the files but if you want to add any particular file so i'll show you now how you can add a particular file so now let's create another file let's say about.php so now let's add this file to index so write git add and after that pass the file name that is about.php so now again write git status so now you can see about.php is also added to index so now let me create another file let's say contact.php and also let me create another let's say list.php so I'm going to open a new terminal and in that I'm going to add a contact.php so write git add contact.php and I'm not going to add list.php so now write git status again and now you can see contact.php is added to stage area but there is one untracked file that is list.php so it shows that git add and file name so to include in what will be committed so i have shown you git add command in this video so if you have any doubt then you can comment down below so in my next video i'm going to cover git commit command so stay tuned and please like share and subscribe to